morning, let's go say everybody. So let's get started. Let's close the eyes. Hands in Dhyan Mudra, back straight, relax shoulders. We will chant three long omkars. Join the hands at back of the body. You can interlock the fingers. Go down to the Mother Supreme Earth. Raise both hands up, away from the body. Inhale, come back up. Rub the palms against each other. Jump at Purja, make them warm. Cover the eyes and face under the warm hands. Open and close eyes few times in dark. Slowly slide the hands down. Gently open the eyes and let the session start with light exercise. Extend both hands forward, palms up and down 90 degree. Try to keep the elbows straight, arms parallel to the floor. Alternate few times. So uh, we will complete our session at nine o'clock today because another session we're going to have a first in-person session at the Gujarati Mela today so we'll be rushing to go there make tight fist and really spread the fingers apart so many of you will be joining over there as well in physical session that will be a short session there about one hour now roll the fist forward few times so during that one hour session in Gujarati Mela, we will have some talks and poses. Roll the fist backward direction. Now swing the arms, fold the elbows, inhale upward, exhale downward. Try to keep the head, neck, trunk in vertical line, back straight. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Spread the fingers apart on the floor, connect them together over the shoulders. A few times sideways. Hold all the fingers together over the shoulders and circle the folded elbow at big edge, circle possible. Inhale upward, exhale downward. And reverse the direction. And relax both the hands. Next, inhale. Raise both hands up. Stretch the body upward. Exhale. Twist the upper body sideways. Look back. Align chin with the shoulder. Keep pushing the knee forward. Inhale, come back. Exhale, onto the second side. One more 
more time, come back, we'll repeat. Try to stay for about seven counts, should the stretches around the waist muscles and the lower back. Come back and complete onto the second side. And come back. If you like, you can sit into Padmasan. Extend both the hands on the side. Turn the palms towards backward. As we inhale, turn them down, front and up. Exhale, front, down and back. Three quarter turn. Deeply inhale, deeply exhale. And have the speed of the moving hands with the breath speed. So you can maintain, so you can coordinate with breathing. Try to keep both the arms in one horizontal line, parallel to the floor. And relax. Extend both hands one more time. Drop the right hand vertically down on the floor. Inhale, raise the left hand up. As we exhale, bend sideways towards right. Keep looking up into the ceiling. Keep pushing the left palm down. Inhale, come back. Exhale onto the second side. Make sure the knees stays down. While keep looking up into the ceiling. Come back up. We will do one more time. We can push the folded elbow and palm on the floor to have the better arch, better curvature better stretches, come back and on to the second side. Come back. Now interlock the fingers, place the palms over the forehead, inhale, hold the breath as we push head and palms against each other. Release the breath, release the hands, come back up the head. Push the elbows towards backward, expand chest front. And one more time, front of the head and back of the head with breath coordination. Feel the stretches at the neck muscles, neck joints. That will release the physical tensions around neck and shoulder region. And from side of the head, both the sides alternatively with breath coordination. Now we'll tilt the head towards right. We can bring the right hand towards left. We can just put a little bit weight, inhale. Back straight, exhale onto the second side. Come back, we'll do one more time. Try not to move the shoulder blades, just head and neck. And complete onto the second side. Back. Next inhalation, turn the head upward, look up into the ceiling, exhale, chin at the chest, we'll do one more time, inhale upward, exhale down, then we're going to circle the head, turn towards right in circular fashion as we inhale, going upward, Exhale towards left, head down, second round, inhale on right, slowly, gently, but with full consciousness. Then we will do two circles from left to right, inhale on left, exhale on right. Look straight 
at the level of the eyes once you complete the circles head neck trunk and vertical line deep inhale as we exhale turn the head toward the right side align chin with the right shoulder try to look at the farthest point on the back feel the stretches at the neck muscles neck joint inhale back to center exhale to the second side Inhale, come back to center. We'll do one more time. Come back and complete one to the second side. Okay, and let's do the waist and below. The light exercise, warm up. And lean slightly forward. As we pull the toes inward, squeeze and release all the toes few times. Then we can push them forward as we inhale, exhale, bring them back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Few times, both feet together. Try to keep the knees straight. Then alternate. And circle the toes around the heels. Try to make the biggest circle possible, keeping the legs grounded and reverse the direction. And relax. Now fold at the right knee, grab the right upper leg with both the hands. As we inhale, straighten the knee you can push the toes outward exhale flex the knee inhale up again exhale down inhale up exhale down then we will circle the lower leg utilizing the knee joint fully inhale upward exhale downward let the toes guide the direction of the lower leg as much as possible and reverse the direction Now straighten the right knee, grab the right foot and ankle or closer to the toes, try to pull the leg up as high as possible without folding it, inhale exhale normal, deep inhale, as we exhale lower the head, bring the forehead onto the right knee, Inhale, come back up and fold at the right knee. Rest the right foot onto the left thigh. Interlock the left fingers with the right toes. Keep on pushing the right knee down to the floor. Left leg remains straight. Left toes pointed out. Bring knee to the chin. Inhale, push it down. Hold there for two, three seconds. Then exhale. Bring knee to the chin. Couple more times on right side. And after that, switch to the other leg. Fold at the left knee, grab the left upper leg with both hands, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, second time, exhale down, and third time, up, down, and we will circle. Try to keep the upper leg still as much as possible, and reverse the direction. Now straighten the left knee, grab the left foot and raise the leg without folding the knee. Deep inhale, as we exhale, lower the head, bring the forehead onto the left knee. 
inhale, come back and rest the left foot onto the right thigh. Interlock the right fingers with left toes. Keep on pushing the left knee down to the floor. Creating the spring action, increasing blood circulation, increasing energy level. And obviously increase the flexibility. Now bring knee to the chin. Inhale, press it down to the floor. Exhale, knee to the chin. And couple more times. Each time try to keep the knee down for three seconds. Okay. And next we'll do Titali Asan butterfly pose. Hold at both the knees. Interlock. Fingers, place them over the toes, inhale, bring knees all the way up, exhale, all the way down. One more round, just to make sure our hip joints perfectly fine, then we can speed up the flapping up and down. Try to push knees all the way down to the floor. inward, sit into Badasan, keep pushing knees down, try to keep the back straight, close the eyes, keep awareness at hip joints and pelvis area, deep inhale, hold the breath in lower abdomen and feel the extra stretches, exhale, inhale again, hold the breath for 7 seconds, Try to keep the back straight, keep pressing the knees down, exhale, let's do two more rounds, each time try to hold the breath about seven counts. Once you're done, then we will roll the body side by side, push the body away from the heels, make a space about one foot, grab the toes tightly, keep head, neck, trunk aligned. We will do Baddha Konasan, dip inhale, as we exhale, bend down, try to bend from the lower back, push the head and trunk as low as possible, should be able to bring our chin onto the toes. We can pull the upper body forward with help of the folded elbow to push the lower legs back. Inhale, come back up. We will do second time at the Konasan. A little bit longer duration. Fully exhale. Bend down. Push the lower leg backward. And bend from the lower back. Inhale, exhale, normal. Each exhalation, we can keep on pushing the head and trunk further down and down. Inhale, come back up. And next, let's separate both feet about a couple of feet apart and both knees up. You can make Pra Mudra. Deep inhale. As we exhale, roll both the knees towards one side. Try to keep the head, neck, trunk in one line. Inhale. Bring both knees up. Exhale onto the second side. And also the back will be straight as much as possible and vertical. Second time. back up and complete onto the second side. Come 
leg up and relax. Sit into any cross leg posture. You can sit into Sukhasan, Siddhasan, Swastikasan, Half Padmasan, Full Padmasan. If you are in Padmasan, try to go up. You can swing your body. Great. Another, another pose you can try it. You can pass both the hands in, in the legs, bring both palms on the floor, and you can lift your body. It will be a little bit balanced, challenge too, but some people are able to do that. Okay, let's bring hands into Dhyan Mudra. We will do Bastrika Pranayam. Deep inhale and deep exhale. Back straight, relax shoulders, close the eyes. Slowly, steadily, deeply inhale and slowly, deeply exhale. Keep 100% awareness on breathing only and breathing related movements. Feel the breath, the air come in and go at the nostrils, might feel some temperature. Kapalvati Pranayam. Make upon Vayu Mudra first. Make Vayu Mudra roll first fingertip into root of thumb. Then connect next two fingertips with thumb tips. So upon Mudra and Vayu Mudra together upon Vayu. We will do Kapalvati Pranayam. Deeply inhale. And we will exhale in multiple exhalation. Forceful exhalation. So once you fully exhale, then inhale again. Fill up the lungs. Then empty the lungs by multiple exhalation. But do forceful exhalations. Frequency of the stroke you can keep as per your comfort level. normal when you complete the cycle and you pull the breath out and you can bring the body into Sambhavya Mudra for 10 seconds, palms towards ceiling till the head slightly upward with closed eyes, keep the awareness in between the eyebrows, let vibrations calm down, let energy absorb into the body and come back. We'll do variation of Bastrika Pranayam. Make a loose fish at the shoulders. 
shoulder, elbow, and rib. Deep inhale and exhale, normal. Then pause fully. Inhale, both hands up, open up the palm, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. If you have blood pressure issue, heart problem, do it very slowly. And relax. Breathe in out, normal. Body into Sambhavi Mudra for 10 seconds. And come back. Alright, so that was good enough warm up for today. Let's sit on both the heels. But knees will be up. We'll extend the right leg out. Bring both the head beside the right leg. Deep inhale. As we deep exhale, start lowering the head and trunk. Bring the forehead closer to the knee. The other knee will stay up. Inhale, till the head upward and bring the hands back. We'll do on to the second side. Deep inhale, as we exhale, start walking hands forward all the way to the ankles. As we drop the head and trunk down. Inhale back we will get into Vajrasan we will do Mandukasan next in both hands forward make a tight fist deep inhale hold the breath into lower abdomen place the fist in between the ribcage and navel hold full exhale as we push the head and trunk all the way down Without leaving the heels, tilt the head slightly upward. Try to relax the lower back. Inhale, come back up. One more time. Mandukasan, deep inhale, hold the breath, place the fist. Forceful exhale, bend down fully and tilt the head up. Relax the lower back. come back up and we'll do complementary pose we'll do backward bending you can do from the Madrasan or from Virasan in both the cases with the help of the palms and folded elbow neck the back and back of the head and rest here onto the floor so knees straight on the floor and closer to each other you can raise both hands up rest the palms onto the thigh Relax the lower back, hip joints, thigh muscles, knee joints, calf muscles. With closed eyes, keep awareness on those body parts we just relaxed to see what kind of stretches they have. Grab both the ankles. Push the elbows down to the floor and bring the body up back into initial pose. And next, we'll do forward bending. You can bring both hands beside the pit, palms facing ceiling, head, neck, trunk in vertical line, deep inhale. As we exhale, bend the back and try to bring the forehead in between the knee. Relax the lower back, relax shoulders. Deep inhale and exhale.
Next inhalation, turn the head up and slowly bring the body up back into vertical pose and we'll get on the knees. We'll do backward bending. We'll do full common pose, separate the knees and feet same as the shoulder width. As we inhale in circular fashion, raise the right hand up, exhale, bring it down, rest it onto the right heel, inhale, left hand up, exhale, bring the left hand onto the left heel, drop the head and back of the body, look into the back wall, push the pelvis forward, the pelvis should be crossing the knee line on floor, trying to hold both the forces, pushing the head down, and pushing the pelvis forward. Few more seconds. And slowly come out of the pose, one hand at a time. And straighten the trunk at the end. And forward bending. We will do Marjorie Asan cat and cow pose. Deep inhale, look up into the front wall, push the lower back up as well, trying to make the spine downward arch, fully exhale, look at the navel, trying to make spine upward arch, inhale, spine downward arch, exhale, spine upward arch, let's do two to three more times, do with breath coordination, do with your own pace, Once complete, then just stay in double top pose, breathe in and out normal, look up into the front wall, we will do tiger pose, kick the right foot back as we inhale, you can push the toes towards back, stretch backward, knee straight, so right leg would be parallel to the floor. Inhale, exhale, normal. Relax the lower back. Next, inhalation without dropping the right knee, just holding at 90 degree. So now toes pointing toward the ceiling. If you want to turn around quickly, look at, she's not tilted, sideways. When she make correction, continue looking straight up into the front wall. Inhale, exhale, normal. Next, inhalation, raise the left hand up and grab the right foot and pull the right leg up as high as possible, hold it while keep looking up into the front wall, inhale exhale normal, pull the right leg even further up, five, four, three, two, one, next exhale, Bring the left palm and right knee back to the floor. Back to double top pose. Inhale, exhale, normal. And ready to do tiger pose onto the left side. Next inhalation, kick the left foot back. Left toes stretch backward. Keep looking up into the front wall. Relax the lower back. Inhale, exhale, normal. Next inhalation, fold the left knee at 90 degree without dropping it. You can make any correction if you need to. Continue looking into the front wall while relaxing the lower back. Next inhalation, raise the right hand up, grab the left foot and pull the left leg up as high as possible while keep looking up, inhale exhale normal, for the 5 counts, just try to raise the leg even further up, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, next exhalation, 
bring the right palm, left knee back onto the floor, back to double top pose, inhale, exhale, normal, relax, and the back you can sit into Madrasan, relax a little bit. So as I said earlier, we will end our session at 9 o'clock and and we'll again there will be in-person session at Gujarati Mela. So many of people who live in local DC area will be joining us. Kale Kinnari and PUC Tatkalik Dorne Thoda T-shirt Baneva Kare with Ekdam Saras Abdot. This is this why a Omkar na picture, same Omkar picture, Sathe, Apro the logo, said this is this why no any Sathe Saras Baneva there. Pan Kare Baneva, Layavin Namuk material about the Redikarin, Etle Kali, Malaga Stedu Perde, Pat Sat, Loko Stedu Parase, Etla Purta Tase. Okay, so let's stand up. Relaxed feet, legs, thighs, hands. Let's do Tadasan, interlock the fingers, go on the toes, stretch the whole body upward, push the palms toward the ceiling. Exhale down, one more time, inhale up, exhale down, and we will walk around the bed, walk on the hills, couple of circles, then we will walk on the toes, couple of circles, will activate the lymphatic system throughout the body. Let's do Utkatasan, chair pose, both feet together, inhale, both hands halfway up, go on the toes, exhale, bend down, try to pretend that we are sitting on a virtual chair, and come back up. Relax a little bit, we will do the extended version of that. Let's do second time. Inhale, hands halfway up, go on the toes. Exhale, bend down, and inhale, raise both hands up. And come back. separate the feet three to four feet apart we will do swing palm tree pose roll the right toes sideways interlock the fingers as we inhale raise both hands up palms upside down exhale bend towards the right side keep looking up into the ceiling try to keep elbow straight keep pushing the palms all the way down Inhale, come back up. We will do second time, same side. Fully exhale. Bend sideways. Listen to the body in any of the pose. And just try not to get hurt. Bring the right toes towards front and left toes sideways. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Bend. Towards left side, keep looking up into the ceiling.
Inhale, come back up. And second time. Try to look up into the ceiling so our body will stay in same plane. Otherwise, we may not be bending proper way. Come back up. And separate the feet even further apart. Waist rotation, katechakrasan. Bring both hands, the palms at the chest, fingertips touching each other, upper body vertical. Deep inhale and we exhale. Extend the right hand out and bending towards the right, keep looking back. We are twisting the waist at a move. Five, six, seven. Come back. Replace the hand, exhale on the second side, try not to move the hips, legs, feet, six, seven, come back, we will do one more time, stay in pose for at least about seven count, feel the full twist at around the waist muscle and lower back. Inhale, come back and complete onto the second side. Come back once you're done and keep the knees straight, feet far apart, extend both hands sideways, deep inhale in star pose. As we exhale, let's do twisted triangle, grab the big toe with opposite side hand. Other hand will go 90 degree up. Look up into the ceiling through the palm which is up. Inhale, come back. Exhale onto the second side. So knees straight, elbows straight. Inhale, come back. We will do second time, same pose. So other hand, it's not vertically up, it is like a 90 degree. Come back up and onto the second side. Come back up and next we'll do revolving triangle pose. Parivrutta Trikonasan, deep inhale, as we deep exhale. Now bring the hand outward of the ankle and the other hand now it will go vertically up and look directly over the head into the ceiling. Look our own thumb which is pointing forward. Inhale, come back up. Exhale onto the second side. We need to bend a little bit further down and twist toward the ceiling. Inhale, come back up. We will do second time. Come back up. Exhale onto the second side. back up and relax and fit together you can just stand in a tarasan or samasthiti you can close the eyes you can feel the body internally might be getting some relaxation of the sensation of the relaxation Move in front of the mat. I'm going to put the Surya Namaskar mantra. Let's do four Surya Namaskar. We'll do alternate at each of the pose. We'll try to stretch further. Let's roll the shoulders back and down. 
will align, we can interlock, intertwine the thumbs, separate the feet far apart, keeping the knees straight, deep inhale, turn the upper body towards one side, deep exhale, and try to bring the forehead onto the knee, inhale, come back up, onto the second side, exhale, bend down, Back up, you can release both the hands, interlock the fingers, roll the shoulders back and down. Deep inhale, as we exhale, bend down, raise both hands up, away from the body. Don't try to resist the head and trunk, let them go down, let them hang at the waist, keeping the knees straight, elbows straight. Inhale, come back up. You can bring both hands at the waist, thumbs on the sacrum, and arch backward. Look into the back wall. Inhale, come back. And relax. Let's do a couple of balance poses. We'll do Virbhadrasan 3 and 4. So you can do from like two, three different ways you can get into, into the pose. You can raise both hands up. Then you can start lowering the trunk along with the arms. And you can raise the other leg up. So the trailing leg, trunk, arms, they're all in one horizontal line parallel to the floor. Some people may start keeping both hands on one leg or they can do keep on the floor. But two, three ways, whichever way you like. Try to stay into the pose. Once you done one side, then do the second side. That was Warrior 3, Virbhadrasan 3. Once you're done, then we will proceed to Virbhadrasan 4. Similar way, grab the ankle with the same side hand. And lowering the trunk as we raise the other hand up. And pull the folded leg up as high as possible and away from the body. Try to look into the front wall through the palm. All these poses for practice, we can use the chair or any furniture. On to the second side, very slowly. Good. 
and we'll lay down on the stomach. We will do a couple of advanced poses as well today, but we will do towards end. First few seconds in Makarasan, full relax. Come back and we will do Viparitanokasan. Extend both hands forward, toes straight backward. Next inhalation, raise the hands, head, the chest, chin up. Pull both legs up away from the body. Only the stomach and pelvis area stay on floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring the body down and lay down into Makarasan. Hold relaxing pose. Next, we'll do Ardha Salvasan. Bring both legs together. Palms under the thighs. Raise the right leg up, right knee straight. Right toes straight out. Hold at the left knee and bring the left foot under the right thigh. Make sure the chest, chin, shoulder blade flat on the floor. Inhale, exhale, normal. Relax the lower back. Next exhalation, bring both the legs back onto the floor. Couple of inhale, exhale. Then next inhale, transition to the second side with help of the right with the help of the right foot, we can keep the left leg as high as possible. Left toes pointed out. Inhale, exhale, normal. Chest, chin, shoulder blade on the floor. Lower back should be relaxed. Next exhalation. Bring both the legs back onto the floor and 10 seconds into crocodile pose, Makarasan. Next, we'll do Sampurna Bhujangasan. Both fit together, toes pointed out. Bring the palms at the waistline, onto the side of the trunk, a little bit backward, wherever we put our belt on. Inhale, lift the upper body up, straighten the elbows, look up into the ceiling. Exhale, slowly going down, we will do second time. So if your palm is not all the way a little down, just try to push them a little bit down, closer to the waist area. Second time, deep inhale going up, elbow straight, look up into the ceiling. Full cobra pose, Sampurna Bhujangasana. And exhale slowly, bring the body down and Makarasan for 10 seconds. And let's turn around. Lay down on the back. We do no cousin. 60 degree, the trunk and legs, 60 degree with the floor, elbow straight, knee straight, look the toenail through the fingernails, toes as close as possible to the fingers.
slowly lower the leg, lower the trunk, lay down in the Shavasan, palms facing ceiling, fingertip, fingers semi close, legs separated, couple of feet apart, toes pointed out, full relax, breathe in and out, normal Vietnam. Next we'll hold at the right knee, we will do Pavan Muktasan, try to bring the knee closer to the face, deep inhale, as we exhale, lift the head up and bring face closer to the knee, hold them together as long as you can hold the breath out. Inhale. Bring the head back onto the floor and we'll do Pavan Muktasan onto the left side. Deep inhale, deep exhale, raise the head up, hold the head and left knee together as long as we can hold the breath out. Inhale, bring the head back. Both legs straight, lay down into Shavasana for 10 seconds. Okay, next we'll do Uttan Padasan, that is Ardha Halasan. If you are able to do full Halasan, then you can get into shoulder stand, and from shoulder stand, you can transition into Halasan. Others stay in Uttar Padasan, both feet up, toes pointed toward the ceiling. Try to stay in that pose for about 20 seconds, and then we will start lowering the legs. Right now I'm transitioning, I'm doing it to Sarvangasan, and from Sarvangasan I will do Hanasan. So if you able to do full Hanasan, go ahead and do that. During Halasan, when we bring our feet on the floor, we should try to push the toes out. Slowly, the people who are doing Ardha Halasan, they should start lowering their legs. The people doing Halasan, they are start coming out of the pose, bring upper back on the floor, mid back and lower back and slowly bring the legs all the way down to the floor. No crest landing, soft landing and lay down into Shavasan. for a few seconds. Okay, so, so Halasan was the advanced pose. And we can do one more advanced pose. We can get into Sarvangasan again, and we can make the cross leg over there. Sarvangasan or shoulder stand. We can do Padmasana here. If we are able to do Padmasana, then we can raise the leg up and down. and slowly come out of the pose and lay down into Shavasan for 10 seconds if you did the pose. Next we'll do 
bicycling, spring, both fit together, palms facing down and close, keep them close to the hips, hold at the knees, raise both legs up and we will start pedaling forward, hold the knees fully and straighten them fully, stretch the toes out when knees are straight and bring the toes towards inward when we are folding the knees. If you have done the forward pedaling, then you reverse the direction. Should run, then lay down in Shavasan. Next, we'll do twisting the spine twist, hold at both the knees, and keep the feet about a couple of feet apart, extend both hands sideways, deep inhale, as we exhale drop both the knees towards left, so the right knee will be somewhere around the left foot, and look towards right, so both knees on left and we are looking towards right, into the right palm. Inhale, bring both knees up, keep the feet away, as we exhale, drop both the knees towards right and look towards left. Look at the left palm or back of the left palm. Come back, we will do one more time, both the sides. come back and complete onto the second side. Come back and relax, lay down in Shavasan. Next, let's transition into Matsyasan. We can bring both the hands under the body, you can do with cross leg or if you do with straight leg then make sure the toes pointed out, lift the whole upper body up, holding the trunk up, we are going to bring top of the head back onto the floor so we can see the back wall, even we should be able to see the baseboard of the back wall, so that much be able to see the back wall. So stay in pose for another 10 to 15 seconds. Meantime, I will set up the Yoga Nidra audio and you guys will be ready for the Yoga Nidra. So if you want to cover yourself up, if you want to make any final moments, final arrangement, go ahead and do that. Slowly transition into Shavasan. Breathe in and out normal. Keep full focus on to breathing related activity. And once audio gets started, then just continue following the instructions word by word. Starting in five seconds.
शरीर को पूरी तरह से फ्लोर पर सरेंडर कर दिया है शरीर का पूरा वजन फ्लोर पर ट्रांसफर हो रहा है और अभी मैं जो जो बॉडी पार्ट्स का नाम बोलूं, वहां अपनी अवेयरनेस लाना है और वो बॉडी पार्ट को रिलैक्स करते जाएंगे रिलैक्स ऑल योर टूज वन बाय वन रिलैक्स बोथ योर फीट सोल हील्स रिलैक्स योर काफ मसल्स योर लोअर लेग्स नी जॉइंट नाउ ब्रिंग योर अवेयरनेस ऑन योर थाइज Relax your thighs. So now both your legs are completely relaxed. Now bring your awareness on your lower abdomen. Nabi se niche ke sabhi muscles relax kar denge. और ध्यान लाएंगे नाभि के ऊपर अपने बेली बटन पर ध्यान लाएंगे अभी अवेयरनेस लाएंगे पेट पर पेट के सभी मसल्स रिलैक्स कर देंगे पेट के सभी ऑर्गेन्स पर रिलैक्स कर देंगे अवेयरनेस थोड़ी ऊपर की तरफ शिफ्ट करेंगे और चेस्ट के सभी मसल्स रिलैक्स कर देंगे चेस्ट के सभी ऑर्गेन्स भी रिलैक्स कर देंगे लंग्स हार्ट दोनों हाथ रिलैक्स कर देंगे दोनों हाथ की सभी फिंगर्स दोनों पाम्स हथेली दोनों रिस्ट दोनों लोअर आर्म्स एल्बोस अपर आर्म्स दोनों शोल्डर्स रिलैक्स कर देंगे और अभी चेस के सेंटर में ध्यान लाएंगे फील द वाइब्रेशंस इन योर बॉडी और अभी ध्यान लाएंगे गले के ऊपर और गले के सभी मसल्स रिलैक्स कर देंगे फिर फेस पर ध्यान लाएंगे और फेस के सभी मसल्स रिलैक्स करते जाएंगे चीन रिलैक्स करेंगे लिप्स दोनों चीक्स रिलैक्स कर देंगे नोज दोनों ईयर्स दोनों आईज 
eyebrows, forehead and top of the head. Feel the vibrations in your body. Your whole body is relaxed now. Now we will chant three Om or Om ke vibrations puri sharir mein mehsus karenge. Nabhi se start karte huye Om bolenge. और वाइब्रेशंस पूरे शरीर में फील करेंगे स्टार्ट ब्रेड इन Sense in your body. Om ke vibrations. Sharir ke andar bhi hai. Aur sharir ke bahar bhi hai. Movement karke ye vibration ko disturb nahi karenge. आनंद की अनुभूति करेंगे परम शांति का अनुभव करेंगे अपने आप को एकदम हैप्पी हैप्पी महसूस करेंगे अपने आप को एकदम हेल्दी महसूस करेंगे ग्रेटिट्यूड की फीलिंग कि भगवान ने मुझे सब कुछ दिया है अभी जो फीलिंग्स है उसे बनाए रखेंगे धीरे से बॉडी के प्रति सजग हो जाएंगे हेड को साइड टू साइड मूव करेंगे शरीर को एक स्ट्रेच दे देंगे दोनों हाथ ऊपर की तरफ खींच लेंगे Rub the palms against each other. Generate urja, make them warm. Place the warm hand over the eyes and face. Open and close eyes few times. Under the palms in dark. Slowly slide the hands down. Gently open the eyes. And hold at both the knees. Roll the body onto the right side. Stay on right for about eight to ten seconds.
then with the help of both the palms, elbows bring the body up back into any comfortable sitting posture. All right. So we'll do some cooling down pranayam. You can sit into any cross leg posture, Padmasan, half Padmasan, anything. We will do Anulom Vilom Pranayam for a couple of minutes. Make a Vishnu Mudra on right hand using the thumb tip and ring fingertip alternatively to block and block nostrils. So start with the left, inhale on left, exhale on right, inhale on right and exhale on left. So left to right, right to left. If you like, you can chant any mantras along with the breathing, but try to do deep breath in and breathe, deep breath out. Complete the cycle when you breathe out on left. Next we will do three Brahmari Pranayam followed by 10 seconds Sambhavi Mudra. All right. So next, let's conclude the session. Bring both palms on top of each other in left. Back straight, relax shoulders, close the eyes. We will chant Mahamrutinja Mantra three times, everybody together. Followed by short meditation. During meditation, try to keep awareness at the crown of the head, Sahasrara Chakra. And we will end it by one Omkar chant and closing prayer. So let's Chant Mahamrutinji Mantra, everybody. Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urva Rukumeva Bandhanan Mrutyor Mukshiyamam Rutat Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urva Rukmeva Bandhanan Mrutyor Mukshi 
ಯಜಾಮಹೆ ಸುಗಂಧಿ ಪುಷ್ಟಿವರ್ಧನ ಪೂರ್ವಾಕುಮಿವ ಬಂಧನ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ಮುಕ್ಷೀಯಮೃತ ಸುಖಿನಮಯ ಭದ್ರಾ ಪಶ್ಯಂತ ಮಾ ಕಚಿತ್ ದುಃಖ ಭವೇತ್ ಓ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ರಬ್ದ ಪಾಂ ಅಗೇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇತರ್ ಜನರೆಟ್ ಊರ್ಜಾ ಮೇಧ್ಯಂ ಪಾಂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಓಂ ಹೇಂಡ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ಐಜನ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಮೂವ್ ದ ಪಾಂ ಓವರ್ ದ ಐಸ್ ಫಿಂಗರ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಜೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಮಸಾಜ್ ಐ ಲೀಡ್ ಓಪನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಐಸ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಪಾಂ slowly slide the hands down over the face gently open the eyes rub the palms one more time place them on top of the head back of the head neck shoulders arms trunk legs throughout the body to spread the energy within hari om tat sat shri guru bhyo namaha So that was short session today and i'm going to unmute you guys and hopefully some of you will see you physically today at the gujarati mela in our first in person session first ever yep you all can unmute now you are unmute yes swami narayan and good luck for first session Thank you. Thank you Bakul bhai Jai Shri Krishna. Thank you. Thank you Bakul bhai. Good event. Yeah. Yeah. Now event is going very well. Yeah, it sounds very nice. Just take a look at you. Well, good good luck. Yep. Thank you. Jai Shri Krishna. Jai Shri Krishna mama. Kem cho? Yes. Bas maza Jai Shri. right here lots of fun this we were in washington dc so <laughs> you i say have lots of fun and i think wish washington dc oh, thank you thank you hello how do you right thank you very much so yeah ha kirit bhai avana cho oh drop thi gaya okay bye